Yo, what's up guys, Mitch Mokum here and welcome back to another episode of the Tour de France Pro Leader Series. We have quite a big lead with Mitch with the yellow jersey. And we have three really big mountain stages coming up. Now, I don't expect to hold on to the yellow jersey. But if we can, that would be amazing. So let's try our best. Hopefully Roglic is cured, he is not sick anymore. Because we need him to protect me. Let's see. Greetings ladies and gentlemen. The presence of the Col du Mont Noir on the rider's route could do some serious damage and establish a sort of hierarchy as to contenders for final victory. To put it plainly, a stage during which the... Let's have a look. Roglic is, is cured, so that's really good. Let's tell him to protect Mitch. Let's have Kuz protect Roglic. And let's have Mader protect Kuz. And then probably Madwas protect Mader. Alright, let's find out if we can do anything with Mitch this stage. We're at the foot of the Col de Mont Noir. It's 17 and a half kilometers, 6.9 average climbing percentage. This is insane. Let's see if we can stay with this group with the peloton. There's only 61 people left here. Hopefully we can stay with this peloton. Stamina is looking good for now. But let's see what we can do. We're nearing the top of the HC climb and as you can see we're still in the peloton. Things are actually looking pretty good. We still have a lot of people here as well. And as long as they're not pacing too crazily we can hopefully stick with this group. See, we got like one kilometer to go. We're following Vinegar for now. I think Roglic is looking a little bit better than Mitch for stages like this, but I don't really want to use him. I want to try and do everything with Mitch, right? All right, we made it over the top of the HC climb. Let's see, hopefully we can get some stamina back on the descent here and we can do anything in the end of the stage here we go we're in the final 10 kilometers of this stage things are still looking really good we got the categories two climb in the end of this stage let's see what we can do here with mitch we're gonna just pace up it and see how it goes 20 seconds to the group in front should be able to easily catch them Oh, they're letting me ride. Probably not for long though. Still six and a half kilometers to go, so quite long. Hopefully I didn't start too early. As long as we make it to this group in front here, we're just gonna follow their wheel. Alright, here we go. Let's follow these guys. The front of the race is beginning the We're actually getting a bunch. Oh, they're core. already here. A no, 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 no. This is not good. <laughs> Let's keep pacing them. As long as nobody escapes, like Pogacar or Vinegard or whoever, this last climb we should be fine. The second category. Just follow Therefore, these guys the for now. Winner will score five points in the dot jersey classification. Let's not waste any of our crazy stamina here. Oh, Pogacar is, is escaping. Attack? We have to go. Alright, let's follow Pogacar. It's really nice that I can finally do something in these uh, tours. The there are still several potential stage Let's take our red gel here. Being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. In the beginning when you play this game, it's really hard, man. It's really a struggle to do anything in these stages because your guy is so low. But once you've got the finish peak and you also leveled him up quite a bit, Things are fun, man. Less than two kilometers from the finish. 
Evanapool is coming towards us. There he is on the right. As long as we keep this pace, we should be fine. I do think though when we have a HC finish, I'm not sure if we have one, but if we have one, I'm probably gonna lose a lot of time here. But as you can see, Pogacar is not going too fast. Fingard is behind us, 26 seconds. 800 meters. Where is Evanapool? Oh, he's on the other side of the road. Come on, stay focused. Okay. Let's try and attack here. Not sure, I might have gone a little bit too Watch early. Out. Yeah, I did. No do we have enough? We do! Let's go, baby! Well done, lads! Congratulations to you! We were amongst the outsiders, but you managed to beat the favorites. Well done for this win! We retain the yellow jersey! It's a perfect day! Really nice. As you can see, these guys had terrible fitness. Pogacar was the same as me. But once you've learned that you can just follow them and try and beat them in the end instead of just going for 15 kilometers full speed. It's a lot easier to win stages, so that's really good to know. But you have to play like and... How do you say that? You have to play and just notice it, right? You don't know it in first. You're like, oh, let's go. Let's play like Armstrong or something. But you have to just counter, man. That's the thing. Let's go to the next stage. Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. I hope you're in good condition, because we've got to defend the yellow jersey. Even if defending it remains the priority, we can also consider the stage win if the barradeurs don't get too much of a lead. Have a good day, guys. Come on, we're aiming for victory. This is gonna be an insane stage, but if we make it to the final climb, we can do this. Hello and welcome to all. This stage is a key rendezvous for the general classification favourites. With the Col de la Biche, the Grand Colombier and the Mont du Chat, there are no less than three all-category climbs on the menu. With a total of 4,600 metres... Alright, let's do this again. Roglic is going to protect Mitch, because he's the best climber we have. Kuz is going to protect Roglic. There we go, Mother is going to protect Kuz, and Mudwas is going to protect Mother. This worked really well last stage in terms of our stamina, so let's try it again. We're at the foot of the final HC climb this stage, the Mont du Chat. And as you can see, there's a group of 23 riders with still 5 of our riders. And it's looking pretty good in terms of stamina. Mitch is looking the best because he's protected by everyone. Let's see how it goes. I'm just going to fast forward until the end of the HC climb and see for how long we can stick to the group. We're kind of struggling, guys. We need to try and get back to the group in front. Pogacar is like gone. Vinegard is gone. So I'm going to have to pace all the way up this HC climb and see what we can do here. This is going to be rough. Still a lot of kilometers left. Like I said, I don't expect to keep this yellow jersey. If we can, that would be insane. But we're not much of a, a really high mountain climber. We're just going to try. We're going to pace here. Anyone else looking better than Roglic? Oh, Mad Madwas is still looking pretty good. Maybe when Roglic is out of stamina, he can protect me. A teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. It's really nice to have really good climbers in your team like Roglic makes a huge difference if you have guys like that protecting you up these climbs. Evanapool got dropped. 
Ooh, that's big. Roglic is done as well. Let's see, is our... Yep, our friend is still here. Let's tell him to protect Mitch. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. I believe this is Pogacar here in front of me. Vinegard is just unleashed. There's Madwas. Nice, man. Doing great job for the team. Evnepool is still here? Yeah, there he is. Alright, we cut Roglic. Should we try and get towards Finnegard or should we just accept the fact that we're not going to win this stage? Uh, let's see. We're second over the 8th Sea Clan. He'll be the new polka dot jersey. He can no longer be caught today. Only 20 kilometers left for the stage leader. The lead rider has 30 seconds on the favorites. This descent is crazy, man. Going like 100 miles an hour. Let's see, hopefully we can catch Finnegard looking pretty good. There he is. Let's go. 20 seconds. At the bottom of the descent, there will be a little over 10 kilometers before the finishing line in Chambéry. Get your ass here, Vinegard. I can see you, come on. There we go. I think we should just try and keep going at 100% all the way to the finish. Pogacar is still behind us 40 seconds. This is insane, man. We, we didn't do super well on the 8C climb. But because we had a lot of stamina and teammates there, we could actually be in the front of the group. We caught up to Vinegard in the, in the descent of the 8C climb. Pogacar is already on a minute. This is insane. If we go to the finish line with Finnegard, we should have we should win this easily. I don't think he has much of a sprint. Only 10 kilometers left for the head of the race. The road to Chambéry is now totally flat. As you can see, Pogacar has given up. He's actually losing a lot of time on us. We're just gonna keep pacing all the way to the finish. Come on, Finnegard, take over. Thank you. No, I want to go 100%. Because I still feel like we're going to lose a lot of time in the next stage. Maybe if it's not an HC finish, could be fine. If it is an HC finish, hopefully we have en enough of a head start on these guys in terms of time that we can actually win it. Would be crazy if we win the yellow jersey here. Final six kilometers of this stage. Oh, 
Only five kilometers left for the lead riders. If this was the real Tour de France, I would actually let Vinegard win here because I don't really need to win. I want the time, but you know, we need everything for our progression. So we can beat these guys in the Tour de France as well. Three kilometers left, and for the moment, no one's managed to get away on his own. Victory will perhaps be decided in a sprint. Yeah, and I want to win. I'm going to win against Vinegard. I'm confident. I don't think he has much Only of a sprint. Two kilometers to ride for the men in the lead. We're heading towards a sprint. Really, Vinegard? Are you leaving a gap to me? That's not smart. Now you have to waste your attacking stamina. The red pennant for the men at the front. It will be decided in a sprint. All right, let's go. Let's sprint. Bye, Vinegard. Come on, give it everything you've got. Believe it. Let's go. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favorites, and you lived up to the role with brio. Well done for this win. Look at this we team performance as well, guys. It's a perfect day. Five guys in the top 15. That's insane. All right. Let's see. I'm... Oh, we're quite far behind in the polka dot jersey. So we're not winning that. Let's see what the next stage has in store for us. It's the final stage, guys. It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. We're in a good position to win the general classification, but we can still lose everything. Be on your guard. We can target a place in the top three today. Have a good day, guys. Go, go! Hello and welcome to all. As often on the Dauphiné, the final stage is decisive. It's the case today with the climb to the Plateau de Soleil. It carries a all-category label. And it will bring the curtain down on this race. Everybody's fitness is terrible in my team. Hopefully the rest of the peloton is feeling the same way. Let's see what we can do in the final of this stage. We're beginning at the final HC climb of this stage, of this tour actually. And we're five minutes behind Kamna. So we're probably not winning this stage. But I'm still gonna go 100% up this climb. If we don't win it, fine. But... Let's just try and give everything we have in terms of our stamina so we don't lose an insane amount of time on anyone and lose this yellow jersey because we don't want that. We want to win it, right? So let's go. This is a pretty long climb, 11.8 kilometers, and it's pretty steep as well at an 8.8 .8 percentage. Pogacar is behind me. That's good. The advance of the lead group should be enough to carry it to the end. Yeah, they will go all the way. Which is fine. We don't have to win every single stage. Let's take our blue gel already. Hopefully everybody's like super tired or they're like broken already because they know they cannot win the yellow jersey. I don't know if that's actually how it works in this game, but it feels like it. Uh, it looks like we're gaining a lot of time at the front of the race. Who knows what is possible still in this climb? Looks like Pogacar is not close. He may may have been... Oh, he's at 5.10. Maybe he's still near the peloton then. Another 7 kilometers. And the head of the race still has a good lead over the group of favorites. I think I started way too early. <laughs> we won't be able to 
keep going at 100% here. Leknesson and Champoussin. What's up, dudes? Feels really cool to be able to do this with your guy, man, which that you created. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Pogacar is like two minutes behind me. I think Roglic is still in that group with Pogacar. Alright, picked up two more guys. Now we hunt on Skelmosen. The lead rider is 1 minute 30 on the favourites. The head of the race has 1.5 minutes lead on the yellow jersey. If we make it all the way to Kamna, I can just the the front is stick to his will and we might actually stage be able to win this stage, undecided. man. That would be insane. He's going to have to pull off an exploit to hold off the chasers. We still have a little bit of stamina left to get. from the head of the race. The lead rider has 30 I didn't think we, were, we would be able to actually go to his wheel. This is insane. We made it with still 4 kilometers. Alright, Kemna, I'm just gonna sit in your wheel. Hopefully you're fine with that. No, don't attack. What? You still have more stamina? No way. This man juke me. Oh no. I thought I could just sit in his wheel and gain some stamina back. Oh no. That's a mistake. Well, if we have to go slow all the way to the finish, hopefully we have gained enough of an advantage to actually not and lose our yellow jersey. Left for the man in front. Kemna, come here, man. Got some red jelly in here. Hopefully he blows up or something. Come on, only two kilometers left for the man in front. Nothing's decided. Looks like we have actually gained enough time to finish with the yellow jersey here, which is good. That's what we wanted, right? What's up, Martis? Can you actually take over so I can follow you? No? Alright. Yeah, Pogacar is coming quick. Yeah, let's not follow this dude. Vinegar is coming. I think it was really clutch that we went on an attack. So we gained enough time to actually win this. Win this yellow jersey. There he is, Vinegar. Pogacar behind them. Kemna, that's a really nice victory you got there, man. Today we're witnessing a solo victory. Congratulations to him. Vinegar is here. He did well. Alright, let's attack. That's fine. Yep, we got second. Nice. Well done, guys.
We were aiming for a podium place, and you did the job. I'm satisfied. We finish with the yellow jersey and the green jersey. It's superb, guys. This is a great performance. Insane. We actually managed to freaking win the Criterium de Dauphiné. This is... Wow. I'm speechless, but we find uh, we finally found a tactic that works in terms of like having enough stamina to actually do anything at the end of a stage. Hopefully we can repeat that in the Tour de France coming up because this is going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.